Today, we're gonna journey deep, deep inside ourselves to try and crack a huge medical mystery. We're about to find out how these tiny little things that we kind of wrote off as simple powerhouses are actually the secret master regulators of, well, just about everything in our physical and mental health. All right, let's kick things off with a puzzle. It's a connection that links millions and millions of people all over the world, and most of them don't even know it. So at first glance, these things look completely different, right? I mean, one's a mood disorder, another is a hormonal issue with the ovaries, and the last one's a metabolic disease. You'd think they have nothing to do with each other. But here's the thing, researchers are finding they actually overlap a lot. Okay, so this slide really brings that puzzle into focus. Check it out. There's this wild overlap. You've got research, like from Dr. Christopher Palmer's book, Brain Energy, showing that mental and metabolic disorders are often comorbid, which is really just a sciencey way of saying they happen at the same time. Some researchers are even starting to think there's a general factor that connects all mental disorders. And then you see these super specific links, like insulin resistance being so tied to brain health that some are calling Alzheimer's type three diabetes, and is also a key player in PCOS. It's all pointing to one single hidden root cause. So what on earth is it? To get to the answer, we have to go microscopic and we have to totally rethink something we all learned about, probably pretty boringly, back in high school biology. Yeah, remember that? The powerhouse of the cell. We all have this picture in our heads of these little bean-shaped batteries just cranking out energy. And look, that's not wrong, but it's like saying a smartphone is just a calculator it misses the whole point of what they really do. The new story, it is so much more exciting. Scientists now see mitochondria less as a simple powerhouse and more as the cell's master regulator. I love this analogy. They're like a city planning commission. They're not just providing power. They're deciding what gets built, what gets torn down. They control everything from hormones to stress to whether a cell lives or dies. And just think about that for a second. These tiny things are in charge of your body's stress response. They control hormones. They manage the cellular cleanup crew. That's a process called autophagy. And they literally make the life or death call for damaged cells through apoptosis or programmed cell death. They are involved in pretty much everything that keeps us healthy. So this new, way bigger view of mitochondria, it's the foundation for a really groundbreaking theory that could change how we look at mental and physical illness forever. The main idea behind what Dr. Palmer calls the brain energy theory is actually pretty simple, but it's also profound. It's that mental and metabolic disorders are at their very core metabolic problems in the brain. So when our mitochondria aren't working right, the whole system can start to go haywire. And when they fail, that state has a name, mitochondrial dysfunction. This is when our cellular city planners just can't do their jobs anymore. They don't make enough energy and they lose control of all those critical tasks we just talked about. The result, total cellular chaos. And this, this is why the theory is so incredibly powerful. Just look at this list. We're talking psychiatric disorders, metabolic disorders, neurological diseases, even a lot of cancers. This dysfunction, it's the missing link. It's the answer to that puzzle we started with. Okay, so let's break it down. What does this chain reaction actually look like in the real world when the whole system starts to fail? Well, it's a cascade and it starts small. So first, something, maybe it's toxins or chronic stress or even just your genes, messes with the mitochondria. Then the cell can't make enough energy or manage itself properly. And in the brain, this can make neurons either underactive, which gives you fatigue and brain fog, or they can become overactive, triggering anxiety and insomnia. And then finally, that tiny little cellular problem becomes big enough that we can actually see it as a diagnosable condition. And this is where the story gets really, really hopeful. Because if the problem is at the cellular energy level, then maybe the solution is too. This opens up a whole new way of thinking about treatments that go right to the root cause, instead of just, you know, slapping a Band-Aid on the symptoms. A really fascinating example of this is a compound called methylene blue. The stuff can go straight to the source. It doesn't just mess around with neurotransmitters on the surface, it goes directly inside the mitochondria and helps get the energy assembly line, the electron transport chain, fired up and working again. So because it can get past the blood-brain barrier and it goes right where it needs to be, inside the mitochondria, it can help bring back that efficiency and protect brain cells. And you know what? It's already showing some really promising results for a whole range of conditions, from depression and anxiety all the way to bipolar disorder. So here's the bottom line. This new model, it's not just some interesting theory. 
it gives us an incredibly powerful new way to think about health and how we treat illness. You can see the shift right here. The old way, it's all about symptoms. We manage neurotransmitters and we treat different parts of the body like they're totally separate. But the new approach, it goes so much deeper. It focuses on the root cause, restoring the metabolism of our cells and fixing the energy supply for the entire system. The goal itself becomes completely different. It stops being about just masking problems or managing symptoms for the rest of your life. It's about restoring and supporting our mitochondrial health so we can build a genuinely resilient system from the inside out. I mean, it's a huge shift in perspective, right? And it leaves us with this really provocative question for the future of medicine. Should we be focusing on treating the cell and not just the symptom? If we can finally understand that mitochondria are the master regulators they truly are, we might just have the map we've been looking for, the map to the root of our toughest chronic illnesses. If you're interested in exploring more of these incredible connections from hormone optimization to metabolic psychiatry and regenerative medicine, be sure to subscribe and follow for more explainers just like this one. Thanks so much for watching this Within You Health production.